Now is Dennis Kelleher, CEO of Better Markets, which is a nonprofit focused on financial policy. Dennis, it's good to speak with you. Um, when it comes to the spot Bitcoin ETF, this is something that the SEC doesn't necessarily want to do under Gary Gensler, but a court made the ruling that Grayscale was allowed to convert the trust into an ETF, and now the SEC is complying with it. Do you think the SEC should ignore the judicial branch and just not move forward with the spot Bitcoin ETF? Well, hi, uh, thanks for having me and good to be with you. Um, that's actually not what the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals ruled. In the Grayscale case, what the court said was that the SEC acted arbitrarily and capriciously because it failed to explain sufficiently the basis for its decision. And it went through a number of things that it said the SEC did not articulate properly and thoroughly enough. And it sent it back to the SEC. So what the SEC should have done is better explained why they made their decision and why it was the right decision. Rejecting that ETF was the right decision. It is the, the law and the facts support saying no here. What's happening is the SEC is apparently almost certainly going to approve a trusted and familiar investment vehicle, an ETF, that will enable the mass marketing of a known, worthless, volatile, and fraud-filled financial product to Main Street Americans. And that's not only going to unleash crypto predators on tens of millions of investors and retirees, but it's also likely going to undermine financial stability. And it's going to compound all of that, Scarlett, because it will be interpreted and spun as a de facto SEC, if not government, mm -hmm. endorsement of crypto. And so, that's going to give false comfort to people on Main Street thinking, oh, it's an ETF and the SEC agrees, so maybe it's not so bad. Well, Gary Gensler clearly Sorry. doesn't... Sorry, Scarlett, just yep. going to interrupt you right now. We are getting word that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission oh. has indeed approved Bitcoin ETFs. That headline crossing the wire uh, right now. Uh, we are in conversation with Dennis Kelleher. We'll get back to him in just one second over at Better Markets. But the headline, as anticipated, Scarlett Fu, is that the SEC has granted approval for Bitcoin ETFs. Now, we don't actually have the list of approvals just yet here. It'll take us a while to dive into this statement. But, uh, and this, this is, is the headline that everyone was, was expecting. For. Yeah. yeah. And there are 11 filings um, that the SEC is deciding on. Um, of course, the ARC one is the one that's in front of them first. I believe 14 have been filed overall, but uh, probably 14 won't be approved all at once. And the thinking here is that the SEC yeah. would probably approve a batch of them all at once, as opposed to doing them one at a time, because they don't want to give anyone a first mover advantage. Right. Ostensibly, this was really about the uh, um, the ARC uh, 21 uh, shares uh, yep. petition here. But as uh, Scarlett just said, of course, they would kind of be a little bit awful to just approve that one and not actually address some of the other applications out there. Dennis Kelleher is still with us, uh, uh, who leads uh, Better Markets here. And De uh, Dennis, before the headline crossed the wire, you were making the case as to uh, why this would be a mistake. Uh, let's deal with the reality now, that now that this is approved here, is there anything that the SEC and other regulators can do to, I guess, provide more protections uh, for some of those investors that might now look at this as that tacit endorsement by the U.S. government? That's an excellent question, and the unfortunate answer is no. You know, the SEC's action has changed nothing about this worthless financial product. Bitcoin and crypto are still going to have no legitimate use. They're still going to remain the preferred product of speculators, gamblers, predators, and criminals. And they're going to continue to be cesspools of fraud, manipulation, and criminality in the trading of the spot market. And what's worse is that this decision is going to give investors the false comfort. Many are going to think the SEC is endorsing crypto. And they're going to be using a familiar trusted investment vehicle like an ETF that they're already comfortable with. It's going to involve the legitimacy of traditional and trusted financial firms, not just crypto firms. And there's going to be this false belief that you just touched on, uh, Raphael, that, uh, a belief that there will be a meaningful regulation in investor protections. But the truth is, there is and will be no effective cop on the Bitcoin B. Yeah, and this gets to the question, though. Um now that we're kind of going down this road here, uh, Dennis, do you think there will be legal challenges uh, to, this, um, to this decision? It's interesting. I think um, there are a number of organizations that will take a very hard look on the actual details of what they have to say. 
Um, I think litigation is unlikely, but I wouldn't rule it out. Um, I think this is going to be viewed by history and not distant history in the next few years as we see crypto carnage hitting Main Street investors and Main Street people saving for retirement getting into this very volatile asset that's full of fraud and has wild um, you know, speculation going on. They, nobody can do a discounted cash flow on this product. This product is valued based on what people think the next guy might pay for it. It's very similar to a Ponzi scheme than any typical investment that most people think of when they think of making an investment. And yet the marketing might of these firms are going to start selling these things like crazy almost immediately because they're going to try and grab market share. And there's already a competition, a race to the bottom on the fees so that they can grab market share. But the problem is they're getting market share of a fundamentally um, fraudulent underlying product. All right, uh, Dennis, uh, we're going to have to leave it there. Uh, we appreciate you taking time for us. Dennis Kelleher, uh, of course, is the co-founder and CEO over at Better Markets, making the case for while the latest decision by the SEC to approve a spot Bitcoin ETF might actually be wrong. Concerns here about retail investors and protecting them.